Okay, we're going to do a quick uh, video about in and out boxes. You may have seen these, um, but I'm going to show you what they mean and how to uh, finish them. So an in and out box is just a simple box that gives you an input number, and then according to this rule that's listed over here, the number that comes out of the box or the machine will um, be affected based on this rule. So if we put a 4 in, then and we add 4 to it, because that's what our rule tells us to do, then our number is 8. If we put a 0 in, then we come out with a 4. If we put a 1 in, we come out with a 5. And if we put a 6 in, we come out with a 10. Uh, the rule might be subtraction, so a 10 would become a 5, an 8 would become a 3, 5 would become 0, 9 would become a 4, and 45 would become 40. It can work for um, the other operations as well, like multiplication. So if our rule is to multiply times 10, and whatever this number is, we're just going to multiply that times 10 and write it over here on the side. Sometimes you might see in and out boxes that uh, have different parts missing, like one of the in boxes is missing and the 40 will be written here and you have to figure out what would have to go in in order to um, to get 40 in the out position. So in that case, you would just actually do the opposite operation. So if we have 40 here, we would actually divide by 10 to get 4. And sometimes, like this one, the rule will be blank and these will be filled out and you have to figure out what the rule is. So I always teach my students to look at more than just one of them because this one, this first one, could be 6 minus 3 or it could be 6 divided by 2. And then as I look down to the other pairs of numbers, I can see that the rule is divide by 2. So that's how you do in and out boxes. Thanks a lot. Please subscribe to my channel.